Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 2! Space Life. And I've uh, been pretty busy around the compound lately. I uh, made up another 4K storage drive here for our network. I went ahead and made up some overclockers for our IC2 machines. Uh, the ones we made up earlier on, we lost because of the update to 164. Uh, been keeping an eye on our oil platform. In fact, I think it is almost done. We got quite a bit of oil out of it so far. In fact, I'll probably head out there a little bit later on to collect the uh, other oil drum I have out there. And the chunk loader. <laughs> Definitely the chunk loader. Um, and I went ahead and put my horse in our oxygen compression room. Just because I thought he might like it in here a little bit more. But you need a name, buddy. I got some name tags, and I don't know what to name you. Hmm. Suggestions are open for the drawing board. I need some names. Alright, uh oh. It's getting dark. Now, this is one of the problems I've been having lately. And um, I'm actually hoping to fix that today. I have so many... Uh oh, hello. That's another thing I've been working on lately. You guys! You! Come here! I've been trying to collect some more interpearls. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where'd he go? Come on, where'd you go? I know you're around here somewhere. Stop hiding from me. He should be around here somewhere. Oh wow, he is just gone. <laughs> oh, he was scared of me. He was scared of the purple spine. And so should you be, zombies. You haven't seen Fred around lately, have you? I haven't seen him either. I hope he's not mad at me. Anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> that is a problem I've been having. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work on some doors today. And another issue I've been having is actually this. So once nighttime comes around, we have a small bat box behind there. Now, granted, I could just upgrade that to an uh, MFE or an MFSU. But um, I think I might try something different. A little, a little bit more creative on my part, I think. So we're going to give that a try. Let's get started now. I've got a couple new mods installed. I went ahead and installed the Obsidian Plates mod. Because I was uh, looking through here earlier. Um, right here, Obsidian Pressure Plates. Been meaning to use these guys. Um, I went ahead and made up some of these uh, Shrouded Silent Pressure Plates. Frank? Fred? Is that you guys? Guess not. <laughs> Alright. Um, I've also installed Mechanism. And uh, we also have Mechanism Generators. So hopefully, once we get to Mars, which is Phase 4, and that's actually not that far away. <laughs> it seems like it's a long ways away, but uh, Phase 1 is rather long. Phase 2 is going to be short, as well as Phase 3. Uh, phase 3 on the moon base is more or less like exploration. So we're going to make ourselves a small moon base and primarily do some exploration for, I think, some some moon dungeons. Phase 2 isn't going to take too long either. Our space station is going to pretty much be some sort of like refueling station. So we're going to have uh, plenty of fuel set up up there. Um, food, you know, armor, just supplies and such like that. And uh, maybe even some other resources, just in case we need to craft something up while we're up there. So that's the plan on the space station. Those things shouldn't take too long, and then we'll get started on mechanism in the Mars base. So, I've already made up a few things for us. Namely, our pressure plates here. They're actually not too bad to make. Um, let me actually go ahead and show you guys. Um, so a shrouded, silent pressure plate. We need... A uh, regular pressure plate silent, which is uh, obsidian like this. And you put wool underneath that, and that'll give you a um, silent pressure plate. And then you place that in the center with glowstone and quartz, and that'll give you a shrouded silent pressure plate. These are pretty cool. Um, so, I've also went ahead and made up some drawbridges, which I'm going to use for the time being um, for our doors on our compound. Um, I'm going to put one here for now, and probably another one here today. Ooh, ooh. didn't mean to do that. And uh, I'll probably do the other ones later on. But for now, I really want this one and that one done. Um, eventually, I plan on trying to replace these doors I'm going to make uh, with airlocks 
from Galacticraft, but I don't have the stuff required to make that just yet. So let's get started, shall we? Um, draw a bridge. Let's do this one first. Now these are probably going to turn out to be different. <laughs> this one and that one are going to be probably different to make, so uh, we're going to do these separately. Now this one, I'm going to probably put the pressure plates right here, so let's clear out a little bit of... Ew. Yeah, that might be a problem. But that's okay, we'll work around that. But the pressure plates are going to go right here, and underneath we're going to put some redstone. So let's grab some some more materials. We're going to need some actual redstone. Some redstone torches. I got some repeaters in here already. But I think I might want to go ahead and make up some more repeaters if I can. Um, how do we do that exactly? Stone, redstone. Okay, we should be able to do that. Yeah, that should be enough for now, I hope. If we need some more, we'll grab them later. Um, we also need some tin decoration blocks. And I think I'm going to use these for the door. Alright. Time to get started. Alright, I need... I think I'm going to need some stone. Try at least make it look nice. We got some made up already. All right, let's get down here. Kind of work a little platform for us. Most of this later on is probably going to get demolished. And by uh, this, I mean this underground area here. I don't really have much use for it. And I'm probably going to need to do a lot of wiring down here in the end anyway. And the only thing we're going to have probably left is this stairway down, and I'll probably reform this a little bit to continue going down and then connecting to the stairway down underneath there, instead of having to go down this hallway, turning around and going down. Just seems a little bit more logical. <laughs> or we could just make an elevator. Either or. We'll see. i right, put you there. Yeah, that might be a problem. Let's close that off. All right, in fact, let's just go ahead and clean us a good area out here now. How exactly do I want to do this? I think I'm going to have to go around this way. Oop! Drat. Fix you up too. I think I'm going to have to go this way. Let's clean a little bit of this out. There we go. Ah! Darn it! There we go. Alright, we'll go ahead and clean this part out too. And fill these guys up. So I want to put 10 decoration blocks and then four of those in there. All right, so that's going to hide that for us. And we'll put four of you in there. And four of you in there. Good. All right, so now i got to figure out how I'm going to actually activate these guys. I'm thinking redstone torches because I want them on by default. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm thinking I want to send a redstone signal either via the repeater or maybe just redstone. I might be able to pull that off here. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with this one. I could do that. That should activate it too. And have that send over to this side. In fact, I think that might be it. That might be all we have to do. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to fill that in there. Let's put our pressure plates here. So I want this to activate on both sides. So if we stand here... Nice, there we go. I guess this is enough time to walk through. But that stays on. Why is that staying on? I think it's got to do with that. Yeah, that repeater is providing power to this block and the redstone. So it's not actually turning off. What if I place it like this? And send this back here. Would that work? Alright, let's give that a try. Let's go ahead and fill this in here. It's you and you. There we go. And we want our shrouded pressure plates to go right here. Now, <laughs> they're slightly visible, but barely. This should work. Nice, that looks good. We walk through. Uh-oh. 
A little slow on this side. Why are you doing that? Okay, that's interesting. Why are you doing this? That one over there is going to be easier. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Hmm. It might just be the repeater doing this. <laughs> Darn you. Darn floor. It's going to be the end of me. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this up. Yeah, I think it might actually be this repeater here. So, let's try this. Let's get rid of you. Let's just use that. Try not even using a repeater this time. Alright, let's see. Alright, that looks a lot cleaner. But why are you taking so long to activate? I mean, it opens up nicely. It closes nicely. Is it... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, right! Okay, I get it. The signal's not full, uh, you know, able to go all the way over, so maybe we just put a redstone repeater, like, right here? And maybe a redstone repeater, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. That should work, right? All right, let's check this out. So any block we walk on now should work just fine. Darn you, why are you doing that? <laughs> it's still, like, slightly delayed. Why is it doing that? Because I really don't like that. Hmm. Maybe if we just, like, actually pulled the connection over this way as well. Instead of it having to travel all the way around, maybe we make that a complete closed circuit. Do you think that'll work? Uh, yeah, I know we got a little, you know, slight slowness on one side or the other, but I think for the most part, that's going to work the way I want it to. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Yeah, I like that. That works for me. All right, so let's go ahead and close this up. Oop. Ah. There we go. Is it getting nighttime? Oh, yeah. We got about half an hour until it starts getting dark out, so let's go ahead and work on this one. We're going to pick you up. I think this one should be a lot easier for us. All right, we're going to do about the same thing. We want the pressure plates to go here. So I think, actually, we should be able to put a redstone torch right there. And that should activate both of these. So let's put you there and four. Ten dark aeration blocks in that one. And let's check to see if this works. Yeah, there we go. It works for me. Alright, so we're going to put redstone there. Decoration blocks there. And, hmm... I think we might be able to get away with just using one repeater on this guy. Right there. And we'll have that send over from this side and the other side. Oh. Okay. I think I know what the problem is there. I think we just need to pull this guy back one block. Right there. It still activates both of those. Um, excuse me, sir. I need to get back here. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. No, don't do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and come out this way a little bit. Kind of get this set up for us. What are you doing? Stop that. All right, we want the other one to go right there. All right, so redstone there, and we're going to have that send out this way. In fact, uh-oh. Don't want that. Close you off. All right. Try this again. All right, redstone out this way, and one redstone repeater here. Close that off, and other redstone right there. All right. Yeah, that should work. Close all this off. Make it look nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that just shows it's working. I think. Nope. <laughs> it's staying open. Drat. 
Why is it staying open? Oh, okay, I know what it is. Yeah, it's right here. Gotcha. Alright, but we gotta be very careful. Hmm. Because I need to send this signal through. I don't know if that's still gonna... Gotta be careful. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright, we'll close all this off. And I think our doors are done. Good. This one even looks a little bit better, I think. Yeah, it closes a lot nicer than this one. Alright, let's actually go ahead and get some lights up around here. It's got a little dark. Now, I kind of want to signify these guys actually being a door. So, what I'm going to do... I think I got some of these pretty cool bricks in here, these colored black bricks. I'm going to grab some of those and I'm going to use my diamond saw to cut some of these guys in half. I think I'm going to surround the doorway with these. I think that would look kind of nice. And plus, it wouldn't be completely flat like it is now. Uh oh. New! Give me that back. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. See, it almost looks like an airlock. But it's not. Oh, hello. <laughs> we'll do the outside later. <laughs> Alright, good. Let's go ahead and do this one here. And later on, I'll work on the other doorways as well. And the lighting. I gotta work on the lighting in here, too. But I like the way that looks. Yeah, that'll work. So now I'm pretty much completely sealed off in here, except for this one here. I need to work on this. Um, but I'm happy with that. In fact, I'm actually curious. Can my horse activate that if I go over the top of that? No. So it's got to be me. All right. That's fine. I could probably just use a lead, make a lead and get him out of here that way. Alright, that'll work. Now my other issue is this. Our power situation on this is probably draining. Slowly but surely it's draining. So probably around 4 a.m. or so <laughs> it uh, starts going away. I think all the power is gone and drained out by then. And if we start expanding this out, it's definitely going to drain out. So we could probably make a system here to turn on only at night. I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's grab ourselves a solar... No. No, no, it's not solar. It's actually a uh, light sensor. You make this guy. That's uh, vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> uh, we also want, I think, a generator, which I got one made up already. And I think I'm going to craft that into a geothermal generator. About the only thing I'm missing, it looks like, is two empty cells. So we need to extrude... Yeah, I see this now. <laughs> I completely skipped that and missed over that when I was using my metal former last time, but we need 10 plates on extruding, so... Alright, we got 8 tin plates. Let's go ahead and make some of these cells up. Got some overclockers in there. Got some iron plates made up. Alright, so we're on rolling. We want extruding. So this should make us up some empty cells. Good. Nice. Alright, we got anything else in these guys? Nope. Alright, we're good. All right, that should be more than enough for now. I'll go ahead and let that continue finishing the rest of that up. All right, place those empty cells there. Generator there. Geothermal generator. All right, yeah, see, the power's running low already. Hopefully, the geothermal generator is enough to power this. Uh-oh. Close that off for now. <laughs> and I'm going to grab this. This is all of the lava that I currently have. Um... 103,000. That should be enough to last us a good little while. Alright. Ooh. That's not good. Hmm. Alright. Um. 
let me do this. Wait, what kind of input can this take? I'm hearing footsteps. I don't like that. Go away. I don't want any. Oh, I see you back there. I see you. I'm trying to get in here. You can't. It's my base. Alright, I'm kind of worried that if I put this on there, it might blow up. What is this output? 20 max. I, is the input on this 16 or is it 32? I don't, you know what? I don't even know. So we're just going to test it out. Put my lava bell barrel there. Can we fill that up? Nice, good. Alright, All right, let's find out. Oh, good. Oh, and it's just enough to keep the uh, network up and running, it looks like. Oh, slowly but surely, it's actually gaining power. That's good, 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 good. So that means this will work the way I want it to. So just a little bit of lava, you can see. And it's draining pretty quick. I actually like that. It's actually showing me how much lava I have left in there. All right, good. All right, let's grab some wiring. Hmm, do I want wire? Or do I want to use cable? Can this actually activate via a redstone signal? Hmm. You know, let's actually go ahead and sleep. <laughs> I know the... Oh. Monsters nearby. You know, it's almost morning anyway. We got sun coming up. Um, I just don't want these guys bugging me out here. Get! I don't need you bugging me out here. Oh, we also need our wrench. I should probably actually make up an electric wrench soon. There we go. Hey, get out! Yeah, I'm gonna have to close this off. I'll probably put some glass up here and then close off this room. Kind of have like this a maintenance uh, storage room. Maybe I'll even move this over to more so like right here. Yeah, maybe like right there. Turn that back on. And we'll have the power send over along the back wall here. And we'll put it on this side instead. There we go. Power coming in. Looking good. Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't we have a splitter? Like an EU splitter? Yeah, right? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I thought I heard you walking around here, waiting for me to not even expect it, and you're going to go boom. Yeah, not going to happen, bud. Not going to happen. Uh, let's just do splitter. All right, so what do we need? We need insulated high-voltage cabling. So I think I actually made some of that up by accident. So I should be able to make up a couple of those. I should have everything for that. All right, so this should activate by a redstone signal. I just don't know if it's gonna. Oh, it does. Is this gonna crash? This is gonna crash my game, isn't it? <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna crash my game. All right, let's grab some more redstone. Grab a couple levers, and we're gonna test it out. Okay, that does work. What do you know? So that splits the signal and keeps power from running through here to the bat box. As you can see, the power is going down, which means there's no power running through here. So if we turn that back on, power is going to go up. Power should go up. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe it doesn't con uh, Maybe it connects, but it doesn't detect it. Hmm. Maybe we should try the insulated gold cable instead of this. Give this a try. Is this going to blow up? Ah, yep. <laughs> Too much power. Drat. Okay, yeah, this might be an issue. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to remake a bat box. Alright, so I think what we're going to have to do, and I'm going to do this real quick because i got to remake a bat box. I'm going to have this send up here 
to the bat box. And then I'll have the geothermal generator on one side sending to the other side of the bat box. And that connection will only be activated through this splitter at nighttime. So let me go ahead and get something like this set up for us and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what I got set up for us so far. I got uh, our bat box here. It's losing power right now. We got our uh, light sensor set up here to the uh, splitter, and we got some power in our geothermal generator. Uh, got a large buffer on it already, 24,000 EU. This guy's not producing power, or at least it's not sending power to the bat box anymore. So as soon as this loses enough light, which should be within the time frame before this actually reaches zero, it should shut off and connect the cable from the geothermal generator to the bat box, um, allowing us to actually have uh, plenty of power through the night, as long as I keep feeding this with lava. So I'm going to wait for you, and you're going to prove me right. Because I was actually kind of worried that you know, this might turn on while this was still producing power and it might blow up the bat box, which is something we didn't want happening. Please hurry. <laughs> Things are going to be coming out in the night. And I don't want that to happen. Wow. You sure take a while, don't you, light sensor? Come on. I'm going to hit you with this. Don't make me hit you with a bone and break you. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. So there there it goes. Let's see. Now it's actually starting to produce us some more power in our bat box. And power is draining out of the geothermal generator. So that's going to work just fine. And in the morning, this should cut off. And um, in fact, let's go ahead and test that out. Because <laughs> I'm kind of worried that the uh, solar... Um, power might actually cut on while the geothermal generator is still on and that might be too much power feeding into the bat box so if we wake up in the morning we might hear an explosion let's hope not cross your fingers <laughs> this could be a bad thing okay I think we might be good alright good the cable split the so power is not running from the geothermal anymore and still going up because of the solar power. Good. That works for me. All right, now I might do a little bit of um, terraforming back here and put some glass on top of this. Uh, that way I have this as like a little maintenance room. But before I finish up today, there's one last thing I want to do. So let me go ahead and clean up my inventory a tad bit. All right, there we go. That's better. And I've been wanting to make myself a gravity gun. And since I've been farming some endermen, we've got plenty of ender pearls. I should be able to go ahead and get this made up for me. So let me make a glowstone block. And we got diamonds, we got ender pearls, we got everything needed. There we go, gravity gun. Nice. Now I can't supercharge this unless I get really, really lucky. <laughs> I don't have Twilight Force in here. In fact, I don't really want Twilight Force, but... Uh, now what I want to use this for is moving these guys. Hey, you! Yeah, I got a gravity gun. You know what that means? It means I can pick you up and I can do whatever I want to you. <laughs> Let's see, where do I want to take you? I don't want you around my crops. You go out that way. And you stay out there. Alright, good. I'm happy with this. But I want to pick up these... Um, blocks here, especially these that got these uh, saplings on them, so how's this actually going to place? Alright, so it's going to place it down just like it was. Okay, that works. Hmm, where do I want to put these? I see you out there creeping. Alright, so these two will stack together. Let me just go ahead and stack these all up real quick that are on the same side. Alright guys, I'm just in the process of finishing moving these over here. I think I'm going to make like a small room right over here on this side. Just like this. And we'll have an area to where we can come in uh, through our hallway here into our tree tap room. We pick up all the sticky resin we need. Nice and easy. That works out just fine. 
cool. So I'll probably cut down those trees, grow some more, and see if I can't fill this room up a little bit more. Maybe cover it up with some, some glass on top, make it look nice. Um, still got a little bit more work to do around the base. Um, some touch-ups here and there. I'm probably going to work on the doors. Um, when I say that, I'm going to work on the outline on the outside on this one and that one and probably install another door here at some point. Um, there's one last thing I think I want to try to work on today. I want to make up a sprinkler. I think this would be awesome. Let's make up some iron bars. Pretty easy to make it looks like. Sprinkler. <laughs> that was easy. Alright, I think we do need a tank for this though. I think it might be this one. Hmm. Alright, that doesn't look too bad to make. Do I have any water? Got a water bottle. I need some buckets. That's what I need. Alright, let me grab a couple water buckets. And I'm not too sure how long the water is going to last. I think eventually I might wind up making a uh, renewable source for it at some point. Maybe hooking it up to um, some infinite source somehow. I think I want to get rid of you though. I wonder, can I go down one more block and put it in there? That should work, right? That looks like it. That looks pretty good. Alright, if I put the sprinkler on top. Oh, is it working? Maybe. I can't really tell. Do I have like particles turned off or something? No particles are on. Why is this not working? Ah, uh, there we go. Finally got this darn thing to work. <laughs> I think you're only supposed to have one tank underneath it. Because I, as soon as I put just one tank underneath it and filled it with some water, it started working just fine. Uh, we also got some bone meal in there, which looks like it's using. So that should help grow the crops a little bit faster. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and harvest all this wheat. I'm a little low on wheat currently, just because I've been trying to keep my my animals bred. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and replant all of this. And I think that should do it for today. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.